Um, you know, courts at 105, right? So, uh, and if you came in here in person, uh, it gets handled in the process and the way in the, in the manner it gets handled. So, um, well, y'all should have said that on everybody the paperwork has, that you everybody has the right my to house, too, that it was gonna take longer than that. I plead guilty, okay. it should be nothing more than that. I plead guilty. All right, well, let me, I, let me I, give I you a... have to go through the formalities, man. I plead guilty. Are you wait? Are you knowingly and voluntarily waiving the right to speak with the uh, Mr. Fanto, the court appointed attorney? I plead guilty to driving fast on I-94 and whatever else the ticket says that I did that was wrong with the submission of state law. Okay. And um, are you so are you are you waiving the right to the court appointed attorney? I plead guilty again. If you don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. Sir, I, I do understand that. You have a constitutional right, and I don't like I don't really appreciate you taking light of it because people died in our country in order to make sure that we have a constitutional right uh, that we do. And among those rights is a right to an attorney. Are you waiving your right to an attorney? Brace yourselves for another intriguing case from the courtroom of Judge Slavin. Today's docket features a defendant who is in a rush and claims he's been waiting for what he deems too long. A whopping 30 minutes. However, Judge Slavin, who fancies himself a guardian of due process, prioritizes the accurate and fair handling of court procedures and safeguards the protection of the man's civil rights above all else. The clash between the defendant's impatience and the judge's commitment to ensuring the proper and lawful progression of the case forms the crux of this legal battle. So as the case unfolds, the question arises, how will Judge Slavin navigate this dichotomy between the defendant's apparent need for expediency and the importance of procedural accuracy in the courtroom? Stay tuned to find out. Mr. Fanto, good afternoon, sir. Hi, Judge. Um, I don't know if Mr. Fleming is, uh, did you have the opportunity to speak with Mr. Fleming? No, sir. No, I nobody spoke with me yet. Okay. So, Mr. Fleming, uh, just a uh, court-appointed attorney will be into the uh, breakout room to speak with you privately. So, just uh, make sure you stay in there. I'm Mr. Fan, do you have anything ready? Or no, I um, we're still trying to get the videos next door figured out. The police department can't oh. seem to fix their stuff. So. Uh, all right. Well, if you want to, I can see. Now. Yeah, I can see Mr. Fleming. Whoop, hang on. All right. I'll 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 come back to you, Judge. I'm sorry. I don't know. Videos uh, pursuant to the uh, scheduling order is supposed to be handled at 1.15, so I don't know if the jail got that memo. Maybe they're having technical difficulties. The, yeah, well, they had a... Um, we're still having to go through Zoom, and then they had an attorney... Uh, talking to a client, so Dave couldn't get into the room. So, excuse me. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Fleming. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if y'all received. I don't know if y'all received my message from the clerk, but I'm not about to be sitting on this phone for a long time. I plead guilty to both tickets, so y'all could just submit my uh, plea, and we can move on. I'm not about to be on this phone for a long time for no traffic violation tickets. And y'all told me court was at 105. All righty. Well. Um, you know, court chat 105, right? So, uh, and if you came in here in person, uh, it gets handled in the process and the way in the, in the manner it gets handled. So, um, well, y'all should have said that on everybody the has, that you everybody has the right my to house too, that it was gonna take longer than that. I plead guilty, okay. it should be nothing more than that. I plead guilty. All right, well, let me, I, let me I, give I you a... have to go through the formalities, man. I plead guilty. Are you wait? Are you knowingly and voluntarily waiving the right to speak with the uh, Mr. Fanto, the court appointed attorney? I plead guilty to driving fast on I-94 and whatever else the ticket says that I did that was wrong with the submission of state law. Okay. And um, are you so are you are you waiving the right to the court appointed attorney? I plead guilty again. If you don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. Sir, I, I do understand that. You have a constitutional right. And I don't like I don't really appreciate you taking light of it because people died in our country in order to make sure that we have a constitutional right uh, that we do. And among those rights is a right to an attorney. Are you waiving your right to an attorney? I don't appreciate y'all wasting my time telling me court was at 105 and it's one and it's after that and we ain't had no hearing yet. And y'all ain't nobody so, talk to me none of that. Y'all just think I'm supposed to just sit here for 20, 30 minutes and wait till y'all get through doing whatever y'all doing. 
No, I got stuff to do too. So I plead guilty to the violation of Michigan compiled laws for driving fast on the freeway and all that. After that, hey, I'm gonna so, have phone. All right, so I just want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure if you're pleading guilty, I am required to make sure that you understand your constitutional rights and that you're waiting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so are you waiving your right to a court appointed attorney? Yes, sir. I don't need no attorney. Are you waiving exactly. your right? Are you waiving yes, your right? Yes, sir. Are you waiving your right yes, to sir. a trial by judge or by jury? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you yes, sir? Are you waiving are you waiving your right to call witnesses and cross examine witnesses? Yes, I do. I waive all those but, such rights. I would like to get to the punishment stage now. Okay. All right, then uh, let me ask you this. On uh, September 11th, 2023, were you in the city of Taylor? Yes, sir. I was on 94 Freeway, so I don't know what uh, area that controls. I was pulled okay. over on 94 Freeway by telling state police. Did you have Did you have your vehicle with you? Yes, I was driving the 2014 right, Jeep did your vehicle? Did your vehicle have no insurance? That is factual. We did not have insurance. Okay. Now, were you also um, violating the uh, speed law? Yes, Your Honor. I was driving at right. approximately 84 miles per hour. I was keeping up with the floor traffic. Everybody was doing about 80, 80 plus miles right. an hour that day. Now, I do find you responsible for uh, the violation of the basic speed law. Fines and costs of $120. As for the uh, misdemeanor, I do find that you did uh, violate that by having no insurance on your vehicle. There's a fine of five dollars, court cost of five dollars, state assessment of one twenty-five. So altogether, that's two fifty-five. I'm going to put you on a payment plan <clears throat> for fifty dollars a month. First payment will be November the twenty-seventh, and I'll mail out a copy of that uh, to your address. Are you still on the? Uh, American Street? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Then you'll be receiving that in the mail. Thank you. You can go ahead and sign out. Have a great Thank day. You, Have a good day. All comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.